Hello, my name is Jeremy. I'm going to read from the Bible. I'm going to read Isaiah 1. This is the Bible, the Word of God. So turn it up, listen up, and focus. This is the Word of God, Isaiah 1. The vision of Isaiah, the son of Amoz, which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days of uh, Uzzah and Jotham and Ahaz and Hezekiah, king of Judah, the wickedness of Judah. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. Children have I reared and brought up, but they have rebelled against me. The ox knows its owner and the donkey its master's crib, but Israel does not know. My people do not understand. All sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, offspring of evildoers, children who deal corruptly. They have forsaken the Lord. They have despised the Holy One of Israel. They are utterly estranged. Why will you still be stuck down? Why will you continue to rebel? The whole head is sick, sick and the whole earth heart is faint from the sole of the foot even to the head there is no soundness in it but bruises and sores and raw wounds they are not pressed out or bound up or softened with oil your country lies desolate your cities are burned with fire in your very present foreigners devour your land it is desolate and as overthrown by foreigners and the daughter of Zion is left like a booth in a vineyard like a lodge in a cucumber field like a besieged city if the Lord of hosts had not left us a few survivors, we should have been like Saddam and became like Gomorrah. Hear the words of my Lord. You rulers of Saddam, give ear to the teaching of our God, your people of Gomorrah. What to me is the multitude of your sacrifices, says the Lord. I have had enough of burnt offerings of rams and the fat of well-fed beasts. I do not delight in the blood of bulls or of lambs or of goats. When... When you come to appear before me, who is required of you this trampling of the courts? Bring no more vain offerings, incense in, the, in, any, in an abomination to me. New moon and Sabbath are the calling of convocations. I cannot endure the inequity and solemn assembly. Your new moons and your appointed feasts my soul hates. They have become a burden to me. I am weary of bearing them. When you spread out your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. Even though you make many prayers, I will not listen. Your hands are full of blood. Wash yourselves. Make yourself clean. Remove the evil of your deeds from before my eyes. Cease to do evil. Learn to do good. Seek justice. Corrupt oppression. Bring justice to the fatherless. Plead the widow's cause. Come now. Let us reason together. Say, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they will be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall become like wool. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. But, but, but if you refuse and rebel, you shall be eaten by the sword. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The unfaithful city, this is 121. How the faithful city has become a whore. She was full of justice, righteousness lodged in her, but now murderers. Your silver has become dross, your best wine mixed with water. Your princes are rebels and companions of thieves. Everyone loves a bride and runs after gifts. They do not bring justice to the fatherless and the widows because cause does not come to them, and the widow's cause does not come to them. Therefore the Lord declares, the Lord of hosts, the mighty one of Israel, Ah, I will get relief from my enemies and avenge myself on my foes. I will turn my hand against you and I will turn my hand against you and will smelt away your dross as white lye and remove all your alloy. And I will restore your judges as at the first and your counselors as at the beginning. Afterward, you shall be called the city of righteousness, the faithful city. Zion shall be redeemed by justice, and those in her who repent by righteousness. But rebels and sinners shall be broken together, and those who forsake the Lord shall be consumed. For they shall be ashamed of the oaks that you desire, and you shall blush for the gardens that you have chosen. For you shall be, the, be like an oak whose leaves withers and like a garden without water. And the strong shall become tender, and his work a spark, and both of them shall burn together with none to quench them. That was Isaiah 1, the Word of God. Stay in the Word of God. God loves you. May you always be in peace. See ya.